da, 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 da. I don't you're asking the wrong question. No, no, let's see. Let's go ahead. <laughs> Instrumentals and all. Let's hear it. I tried. I just did. You that was literally I believe the first. In you. Oh this my goodness. You had a practice run, and now it's time for the real song. I don't know all the lyrics. And a one, and a two, <laughs> and a one, two, go. And fee, fa, fo, fum. And now I forgot the lyrics again. <laughs> My, Kyle's been really into, uh, what do they call it? Um, pirate type songs and music. Like sea shanties? or like, Yes, there you go. It's a sea shanty. So where everyone sailed... did techno pirate songs. No, 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 no. It's a sea shanty. So if you look it up, it's by Sail North and it's Bones. Sail North. And it's a really good song. Sail north, my Bones. Son, my son's been obsessed with it. I'm like, okay. If you sail far away north enough, there will only <clears> be <throat> Bones, yes. Bones? Five, four, five. I smell the bones of an Englishman. Oh, I know this one. Uh, Cross bones sold and a bottle of rum. Heave, hi, ho, hum. Yeah, there Shut you go. That's the lyrics. Shut from the spray of the sea. <laughs> a blood on my hands from the pour of the raw. Ah. He's been very obsessed with it lately. He, he asked for it on the way home. Bones song. I'm like, okay. <laughs> my kids are currently obsessed with high school musical which came out of nowhere that's not a bad one to be obsessed so obsessed. yeah well it was one of those i never thought it'd reappear back in my life again do you know what i mean <laughs> yeah and uh and now that it has you know i'm not upset that we could watched, be worse things they, they wanted to watch them all and so we sat down and watched them all and i was like you know like when they first came out I was like, Lisa was obsessed with it. We were dating. So I was like, yeah, I'll go with you and watch all these. I was like, yeah, it was fun. I grew up loving musicals. So I was like, yeah, these are really fun. Yeah, it's just a and Then you get a little musical. older and you're like, these are <laughs> so fucking cringy. I can't handle this. And you reach a stage, you're like, it's just campy and fun, you know? It's just, you know, it's a it, it, the kids. There yeah. you go. Exactly. <laughs> it's not for me. It's not made for me, which made is why I can enjoy it children. now. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, so like now you'll trolls be... movies. Those are made for kids too. No, but then no, there's some so many into windows. I was sitting there watching the last one with Aurora, and I was like, "Oh, you don't understand any of this." Like she's laughing what's... because yes. she she's laughing because it's a joke. And I'm sitting here thinking, "You, you, 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 you sweet uh, summer my child." child. Yes. <laughs> no, it's all the references I love to modern, boy like, bands, uh, man. Yeah. <laughs> Kids movies and shows, it's like they finally just leaned into it. We're like all the animations for the kids and all the humors for the adults. There's times I will watch the shows longer than my kids do because I'm like, I get this humor. This is fantastic. Right. Oh, so my daughter was like, Can I watch this movie? And she pointed at Ted and I went, Nope. <laughs> but I it's mean, a teddy bear. How bad could it be? I'm like <laughs> It'd be a very educational movie. Sure. She'd we'll have a lot of that. questions. You'd yep. really, you know, have a chance to chat and talk. <laughs> She's only 11. Going to be 11. I think so a really... lot of questions. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But what, when is her birthday? Her birthday's in November. Okay. You said she's turning 11. Yeah. She's 10 now. That's awesome. Yeah. I Izzy's in July and she's turning 11. I didn't know they were the exact same age. That's amazing. That's crazy. Huh. We should, yeah, we should do a play date sometime. We'll yeah, we should. I mean, there, hey, hey, just so you know, there's like five or six houses for sale over here. <laughs> well, let me just get right on that. What is the let halfway me just, point? I'm going to look that up real quick. I have no clue what the halfway Maps. point is. Um, North Pole? I don't know. <laughs> I, think that's, I think that's going the opposite. I believe the halfway <laughs> post is uh, Moscow, Russia. Let's just head over there. No, yeah, because that no, it's not. Yeah, absolutely. That is not the halfway point. Right. Where in the world do you? <laughs> You're the one that said the <laughs> North Pole's the halfway point. Oh my god, no, I did, but at least that's closer. <laughs> All right, let's see here. Halfway point would probably be British Columbia, right? Yeah. Maybe, yeah, because you got you're up. You're the northern side of I'm it, right? Wyoming. Like, yeah. This would be Topley Landing, British Columbia. Oh, hey, there's a fishing lodge right there. We'll meet there. Oh, look at that. We'll Coop just, Dogs you know. Fishing Lodge. <laughs> <laughs> so do a play date at Coop Dogs Fishing Lodge in, uh, yeah, uh, British in Columbia, Canada. Canada. Well, you know. You down for that? 
We're, we're not even in the U.S. no more. We're it's just going got, straight uh, to camp. Four point four stars. It's a campground. Oh, there's a huge lake S'mores. right there. That's nice. Oh, look, we could take and a lodge. Swimming. There's a lodge too. Oh, this is <laughs> cute. Yeah, we should totally do this. Does next Tuesday work for you? <laughs> next Tuesday. I mean, we want Kyle to be there, too. Remember, oh, he's right. now for two weeks. Two you weeks. Know. That's true. That's true. All right. So we'll do... I know you have plans for your son's birthday, but we'll do your son's birthday at the lake in uh, British Columbia, <laughs> Canada. How's that? I'll just shove all the presents in the back of the truck and just drive. It's that's fine. That's fine. Yeah. The truck That'll will totally be... make it. Oof. And I got to know how long of a drive that would be for me. Oh, I lost it. I, I lost it. Long there it is. Oh, oh. You said where? Um, <laughs> Coop Dogs Fishing Lodge. Directions from my house. Said be a 24 hour drive. That's not bad. I could do that. I could yeah, do that. Yeah, yours in a isn't day. that far. <laughs> <laughs> I actually, I just well. went from the middle of Alaska. I don't know what part of Alaska you live in. I'm in southern. Oh, then it wouldn't be too bad. So I'm far. No, I no. It's a far drive because in order to even get, well, you're not in like Bethel, are you? <clears throat> Where's Bethel at? What? Uh, I'm just looking at a map and naming random names. Oh my goodness! I'm like sitting here trying to look at him. I'm looking at the map too. Good I was like, wait, Bay? where'd you see Bethel? Think of it this way: Port Allsworth. Go all the way down to where it says Anchorage, and then go even farther. Oh, okay, okay. So, like, like I'm even Seward? farther than that. Homer. Uh, I'm before Homer. We're close. Anchor Point. I'm in like the Kenai Soldana area. The nail check. The nail check. I'm teaching you the say the words. Nicola Fesifica. Nicholas. There are some words, man. I'm like, I don't. Don't ask me. That one is actually a Russian. Orthodox village. All right. Well, now I'm going to figure out how long I'm going to drive it. This is what's happening, folks. Well, we we're don't... making a plan. All right. Uh, I don't even know where you were saying because I can't find it. Coop Dogs Fishing Lodge. How do you spell it? Uh, C O O P D O G G S. Coop Dogs. Oh, there Fishing it is. Lodge. Baybine Drive. All right, here we that go. would be a 31 hour drive for me That's if we cool. didn't okay. stop. Then I'll go a little further. We'll make if we're going to be even. <laughs> we'll go further. All right. I mean, wait. So if you're going to do that, why don't you just come to like. Can I make it there from there? No, there's no bridge. Now I was going to say there, but never mind. I was going to say like go to catch a can or something like that, but. There's no well, way to get there. I can there. catch a can here anytime I want after I'm done kicking it. <laughs> 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 Well, that was that was fun to figure out the halfway meeting point for your son's birthday. <laughs> I'm excited for this. It's going to be fun. Kids will bond. <laughs> we'll get to spend some time in Canada. I've never been. Get your, your the drive your... sucks from what I hear between here and there. I've I've oh, had really? people drive it. Yeah, it gets bad during the winter and then during the summer. Road construction. You have to fix everything a... from winter. <laughs> There's a fire right now going on. There's a wildfire going on somewhere up there. There's always wildfires up in either Canada or Alaska. It sucks. Um, and then what's the other? Oh, the the road itself gets either super narrow or gets so bumpy that your shocks and your tires just you know want to die. <laughs> well, you just take uh, you just take one, and loop that all the way up and around. <laughs> oh, that goes really far. One. You take one to two. <laughs> one to two. To and two then you're to back three. on one. <laughs> you take one. Still on one. That's not, this is actually really easy directions. One to two. And then you turn on two. And then you turn on one. And then you turn on 37. <laughs> and you take 37 the rest of the way. That's easy. Did you write that down? Totally. Okay, good. <laughs> now, my directions. Let's see this. You're like, my directions make me go, wee, 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 boop, 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 boop. We're leaning into this now. This is, <laughs> this could be the whole podcast. I'm cool with this. <laughs> How to get to this place. Right. Actually, the funny thing is, is we're planning I-25. on making a trip to the States. Oh, really? Yeah, we're planning, on going to Wash uh, we're planning on going to Washington. Um, 
hopefully in August. We don't know yet for sure. Oh, that's like, awesome. We're, What's going we're on in Washington hope- just to say you went or? Uh, my best friend lives there. <gasps> my maid of honor. She I is. There. I mean, you could live there. No, it's I not as hot Washington. as Wyoming. <laughs> no, there's there's and there's people in Washington. I know there's people everywhere. It's maybe yeah. where I live. It's a small town, so I'm good. Same. It's great. I'm sure yours is smaller than mine, though. <laughs> no, I can give you a. Yeah, estimate. rough ballpark. How many people are in your town? This one you say twelve. Seven thousand six hundred and fifty-three. Okay, yeah, I definitely have more than that. <laughs> um, population, uh, fifty-eight thousand. Yeah, you got you get just a few more. Yeah, just a couple more. Not much. No. So you're you're good. <laughs> anyway, sorry you rudely interrupted me. I take the I twenty-five oh, to <laughs> fifteen. Your directions. Yeah. Oh no, I want this rod. Yeah, uh, 25. And then I get on two. Hey, we'll be on the same road together for a second. <laughs> for one second. And then 93. <laughs> Damn, that's a lot. To, I have a lot more to remember. I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> that's too much work. We're fine. How about we just fly? At some point, that's what I'm planning on doing is we want to fly to different states. We want to get the kids to be able to experience. The lower 48. Uh, pretty much, because I've only been to two states I've lived here my whole life and I've only been to uh, Texas when I was six and California when I was 20. Damn, Texas. Did you, I assume you flew to Texas. That's a long flight. Yes. I flew to Texas when I was six with my parents. Uh, We went and saw my grandparents. That's where they lived. And then when I was 20, I went by myself. That was an experience. To Texas or was that the California trip? That was the California trip. We, I got to go see the big redwood trees and stuff like that. Yes. Oh, that's so Dude, cool. Dude, the redwoods are so amazing. I would never live in California, Same. but I'll visit. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Because the redwoods are beautiful. The beaches are amazing. And that's the first time I've ever gotten sunburnt. Yeah, no, that's, that's so awesome. That totally makes sense, too. <laughs> hey, when it's overcast here, you don't get sunburnt. You're overcast there. You better wear some uh, sunscreen. I thought of you. I thought of you last night. We went to take the dog on a walk, and it was like nine thirty at night, and it was super bright outside still. And I was like, "Oh, oh this is what Jules is like at one in the morning." Yeah, it was eleven thirty midnight last night, and the kids were like, "It's still bright out," and I'm like, "No, no, it's not." Yeah, I can't imagine dealing with bedtime. You, you have to have blackout curtains for everything, right? I do have blackout curtains in my my daughter's room. Give me a second. My son's freaking out. No, you're fine. You're fine. Kids are, in fact, kids. Um, but while recording a podcast, if you could maybe hide them in a cupboard and lock it, soundproof the cupboard, um, throw away the key. And I mean, you can like drip feed some water, maybe a protein shake, you know, through the crack in the door so they don't die, you know. But let's be honest, dead kids are quiet kids. So just food for thought, everybody. I just want you to remember that out there. If you're going to do a podcast and you have kids. I was about to say, well, what about chloroform? I mean, that makes them go nine and eight. Yeah, but like locking them <laughs> in a soundproof cupboard sounds a lot more fun. Oh, we're doing the Harry Potter experience. Got it. <laughs> yes. <yeah. laughs> no, but see, like that was almost too nice. You know what I mean? Like he could fit a mattress. Hey, but they were, he was quiet. Well, that's the thing is he was quiet. I don't <clears> think the closet was soundproof. I want to make sure <laughs> even if the kid is screaming their heart out. We'll never know. So for me, going back to the curtains, my daughter has blackout curtains. My son, unfortunately, does not yet. But we have blinds and curtains covering it. And he's he likes to have light in his room to begin with, like a nightlight or whatever. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. So it's, you know, it's fine. And then on my side, the sun does the sun sets on the opposite side. So I don't have to worry about my side until the sun comes up, which is now very early in the morning. Uh, What time is sunrise? (laughs) Uh, right now, I can actually look that up as my amp here. Because are you in the Sun- part of the year where it's like 20 hours of light? It's a day about or to like be that? summer solstice, which I believe is what, the 19th or the 20th? I th- somewhere in there. 21st. The summer solstice will have, right now, sunrise is at 4.35 a.m. Oh and sunset God. is at 11.35 p.m. Yeah. Yeah, you're right there. So we just get dusk. That's that's pretty much it. It's not dark. Dusk. It's dusk. Yeah. At night it's dusk. <laughs> oh my god. 
Um, where Kyle is at right now, he gets pretty much 24-hour sunlight. Um, so he get he for, goes like way further north for his work. Yes, he goes all the way to the tippy tippy top. Dang. <clears throat> so uh, sunset where he is at. Wait, no, that's not right. Oh, one second, is he talking to me? One second. Oh, it's all good, kids. I feel it. All right, sorry about that. It is all good. So for where he is at right now, it states that sun is up all day. That's insane. I can't imagine. No night, no nothing. Wow. Daylight 24-7. Until it looks like... Like daylight 24-7 until like August. And then it's and like then five minutes of night time. It like, yeah, it is like... You know, they have like civil twilight and nautical twilight and like all these other stuff. But night itself doesn't start until September Holy shit. 21st. Yeah. Explaining this to people so. <laughs> so crazy. <laughs> oh, yeah, because it's the thing that the majority of us, especially I mean, obviously, those of us in the lower 48 will never like you hear about it and you go oh, okay wow that's crazy that's crazy that's cool i would like to experience live... it someday i'm like no you don't because <laughs> like you know we grew like i grew up with like hey when the sun sets come home like that doesn't work for your kids nope no it does not not during the summer no because they'll just be out all the time they'll be like the sun's still up mom i'm like no no come on but it's two in the morning <laughs> come inside now <laughs> Nah, it's it's been it's been rough with my son because he just doesn't understand it. Aurora, I she has an eye mask that she puts on her head too, so it's dark. Oh, okay, that works out. So I'm like, it's you know, it's a thing. But uh, we've been working with him though because he just doesn't understand it. And now that he's getting old enough to see the light being up and everything, like he's understanding the oh look, there's still light. It's not night. I'm like, no, please go to bed. All my all my shows tell me there's a nighttime, mommy. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Oh, my show says there's a moon. There's no moon out there. <laughs> That's no moon. That's a uh, space station. Well, you were saying your grandparents live in Texas, right? Uh, they did. Oh, they I did. unfortunately have no more living grandparents. Are they buried in Texas? Uh, some of them, yes, actually. Okay. I have uh, a few in buried Texas. in Texas. Yes, Save they're that in Texas. one. Ooh, that could have been weird. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. So I is, do have a uncle in Louisiana too. So I love families that are all over the place like that. I know I have, I have everywhere Oklahoma. So then, is uh, which side of the family are they? Your dad or mom down in Texas? My mom's. Okay. So was she born in Texas or is she? Alaska? She was born in Louisiana, raised in Texas, brought up here. I think when she was between sixteen and eighteen, if I'm correct. Really? So what brought her up to Alaska? I don't fully. Oh, uh, she got married. Uh, she was a married to an army guy. Oh, that makes before sense. my dad, and so they came up here, and when they, you know, separated, she just stayed up here. And then your dad like, was born and raised. Uh, my dad was born in Idaho, and then his. The cool thing about my dad is he doesn't remember his birthplace because I think they came up when he was super young, and I found out some things about my dad's side. It was like all these different like my one of my uh what was it what did he do he made the the things that go like not the not the actual saddles and stuff but he made different things for horses and stuff like he was really good at that type of stuff and i was like dude that's kind of cool i never met my grandfather on that side he died before i was born Oh, gotcha. um, my grandma though used to make all these different types of necklaces out of beads and stuff and i actually still i have one and I'm like, my mom tried to get rid of it one time because she didn't realize what it was. And I was like, if you get rid of that, I'm, I'm just, hey, yeah, or something. <laughs> <'Cause> <laughs> <I> <laughs> this yeah. is all I got from her. <laughs> of all the threats, so. I didn't expect hi yeah. I'm not... <laughs> Calm like, down yeah. there, Miss Piggy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was thinking more of uh, Anastasia, and I give her a hi yeah. Oh, and yeah. Hi -yah, and I, I kiss her, her. sir. <laughs> So I I love stories like that though because like Alaska's big, right? It's huge. So the it's fact huge, that but someone we don't have from the population. Idaho, yeah, 
Yeah, and we don't have the population like the small, like the smaller states that have like millions of people in them. Well, it's always the smaller going, ones. I'm sitting here going, huh? You guys could just part of you guys could come up here, and you still wouldn't fill Alaska. <laughs> yeah, no, probably most of them. Pretty much most of them. But no, that's I, so I love that. Like I legitly, I'm obsessed with those kind of stories. Someone from Louisiana, someone from Idaho, right? <laughs> Meeting each other in the same part of Alaska. Randomly. And then having you, you know? Well, yeah. like, my mom was born in California. My dad was born on the border between New Mexico and Mexico. And then they met in, in the same, like, town in Colorado. So, like, everyone moved there at some point to the same area for different reasons. And then they met. Like, I just love that kind of stuff. Well, what's really weird... It's not far away from my thing, so I'm running back. She's getting closer. What's yeah, I'm getting closer. So what's really weird is in all honesty, we're all related somehow, way up in like the, you know, like I don't know, somehow we're all like connected in a way. It's weird to think about. Through the force? It's in all yeah, of us. Sure. Yeah, sure. Okay. Like, I don't know. That's weird. I don't know. I I think about things. Yeah. No, for sure. Yeah. No, I, <laughs> It's just, it's fun to do those weird, and I even do it with like internet friends, just all the weird things that have to connect for you to meet each other. Well, I mean, just, I mean, just me and you meeting, you know? Um, I, how, how did that happen? Uh, like, I, it's been years. Like, I just think we've been friends for, you know, childhood. I think it's been 27 years. I think you're right. Yeah. <laughs> it certainly feel, well, it's. Cause you, cause I believe we met through squirrel. Yes. But I don't think you hadn't known her that long before we all met. Right. I don't think so. Yeah, I call feel like it was Duty. all a pretty new thing. It was either call of duty or apex. I don't remember which one. It would, it would have been call of duty. I had, I put on a wars and this is what's crazy is, you know, war zone launches, right. Verdansk right after yes. COVID, COVID starts. It's going well. I decide I'm going to throw a tournament for Warzone. I then do something I never do and post it on my personal Facebook because I knew a ton of people were at home playing games because of COVID. So there might be people that I've never talked to about gaming on Facebook. They'd be like, yeah, no, I'm down because I'm trying it. As we knew, everyone was playing it at the time. And so a friend that I used to, I met back in the day playing Airsoft hit me up and was like, oh, hey, we haven't talked in forever, but I play Warzone. I'd like to put a team together. And Squirrel was on that team. But we didn't talk to like two and a half tournaments later before she finally made her own team. And that's the first time we actually chatted and became friends through that. And then I don't know if it was like, I don't know if you were on her team or if like we I played for a night and you were there. I just think you played for a night because I don't think I ever did a fuddy war zone tournament. I've done apex. I've done Fortnite, yeah. but I don't think I've ever, have I, are you sure? I, I know I've played a lot. No, I, I meant you have for the Fortnite and the apex ones. Yeah. But I don't remember ever actually, I, I remember watching them, but I never, it was definitely, it was definitely them. a game day where she's like, Hey, you come meet people. And I was like, sure. Why not? I'm always looking for people yeah, to play with. Play. Come hang out. <laughs> and then we've been friends for 27 years since. Exactly. That's how it goes. Yeah. We, again, we've been one of those friends like, longer than Squirrel's been alive. Yes, we have been. <laughs> yes, which isn't hard to do. <clears throat> when you said 27, I'm sitting here thinking, wait, isn't she? I don't know. She's like 22, right? I thought she was 23. She's 22 or she's 11. It's one of the two. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not quite sure. I know there's like a 10 year uh, gap there. Though. <clears throat> I feel that because I'm going to be 34 this year. No way. Me too. Heck yeah. When's your birthday? Oh, July 31st. You're older than me. <laughs> <laughs> Sit down. Respect your elders. Oh my goodness. I do that to Kyle all the time. He's six months younger than me. Yeah. My wife does that to me. She's 10 months. <laughs> uh, I'm 10 months younger than Get her. Get down. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, I mean, you know, she does that too, but, um, <laughs> so, well, speaking of that then, so we meet through gaming, right? All these crazy yeah. things, people all over the place, moving around the country, meeting each other, all this good stuff. So what got you into video games? So I, 
play I dabbled in games when I was younger, you know, when my friends had either Segas or it's I'm dating myself or you know, I'm I'm aging myself here saying this stuff, but like Nintendo's and Se- Segas and stuff like that, I'd play, you know, Sonic or Mario. Yeah. I my when I was in high school, my ex had a PC and it had and I remember this mouse because it was one of my favorite mouses, the little mouse it was. It was the mouse with the ball. I was going to say, did it have the rolly ball underneath yes. it? Yes. I missed it. And it those. wasn't the rolly ball underneath it. It was the one on top that oh, you could move. I know what you're talking the, about. It's like the marble ball looking yes. thing on top. It was red. Like the oh, whole I mouse was, was the ball. Yes. Yes. The mouse I was, know exactly you had the what clickers, you're I think, about. on the side or something like that. I can't remember if the clickers were on the side or if it was a certain way, but the ball was the one how you moved it. I was obsessed with that mouse. And he had the Oblo. It wasn't. It might have been Diablo one, maybe. And he oh, also had Devil May Cry. He had a Devil May Cry, and I would play it on there. But then from there, it was like RuneScape and different things like that. Because, you know, he had to be that nerd that played RuneScape and had people, you know, yeah. ASL, Imagine ASL. I'm like, you know, <laughs> age what? <laughs> I never heard. What are you talking about? <laughs> Crazy. So... From there, though, I stopped playing video games until I moved because I had moved away from home and then I moved back. Mm-hmm. And it, I kind of started playing video games again when I met Kyle, which was right after I got back home and we worked together in the same place. And so I'll go over, play some. He had an Xbox at the time. Go over there, play some. I don't remember what Call of Duty it was, but it was some Call of Duty or Halo, one of the two. <laughs> Do you know about what year? We'll figure this out. 2000 and. Uh, 2012? 2012. Okay. That sounds like. I feel like it's going to be a Black Ops of some sort. Maybe. I feel like it. Black Ops. Too. War, yeah. I was going to say, Aurora was born in 2013. We met in august of 2012 damn he moves quick good for him (laughs) what a what a stud (laughs) so that was uh that was where you know i started playing more games i started getting into you know playing games co-op stuff like that we split screened (laughs) you gotta love those split screening land parties oh yes (laughs) Tape the sheet in the middle so no one's well, screen peeking. And we did that when, it. when we moved into our tiny apartment with Aurora when she was a baby. We had the PlayStation at that point in time. It was, you know, that new PlayStation 4. You had to have that cool, you know, new thing. And we didn't have internet. So we would have the, the split screen for like seven days to die. <laughs> and we'd play together on our tiny ass TV, split screening it on seven days to die, trying not to die to zombies. <laughs> so, I love that. So, I mean, I guess I, I just started playing games more and more and more. And then, you know, you kind of start to love it. Yeah. Just a little bit. Well, it's it's so. a nice, you know, when life's getting busy, it's a nice, you know, some, I still escape with, you know, movies. I don't watch as much TV, but like, you know, I'm not a big sports guy. So I actually like it. So but it's a nice, it's an escape, you know? It's an escape. I like to, at when after everything's said and done, dinner's done, all of that. Kids are watching their shows because they have their own little devices to do that. I'll sit down at my PC and I'm so glad I have dual monitors now because I can like play like something super, super not mind control. Like you don't have to focus on it. Oh, yes. And I can watch like an episode I've already seen of the show. Like I've seen the show a thousand times, but I need that, you know. Yeah. Something in the background. Something in the background. I can put that on one screen and I can put like some type of like the raft. I don't know if you've heard that game. Oh, yeah, yeah, um, yeah. You build the raft up, the shark comes and eats it, all that stuff. Super calming. I can watch something while doing that. So it, it, it helps, especially with what's going on right now with everything with myself. So it's, it's been a big help to be able to play video games. Oh, yeah. Well, and even, you know, after this next step, I mean, you'll be... You'll be hopefully hold up for a while to play some games, right? <laughs> not for, <laughs> I not wish. for the reasons we want, but no. Also, and I've already and I'm very open about it. So, the next step, all they're doing is taking tissue out. So it's not really anything 
super oh, that's not crazy lay though. down i know right yeah, i'm like you gotta, okay you gotta milk it for down. all it's worth though i know i'm all like i gotta you know i'm, I'm hurt yeah I'm he'll, <laughs> he'll never ask you say there's a complication and just pretend everything's really bad <laughs> yeah he's upset kyle's upset he's not gonna be here for that because it's it's on monday and oh, he's yeah. very upset that he's not here for the biopsy well like, then you have upset. all the time in the world to make up stories <laughs> i know i'm all like oh man they uh they put it too far in. I can't breathe right now. <laughs> yeah, so they, they mess up my spine. I can't walk. <laughs> a lot of but... my legs. You have to carry me everywhere. Feed oh. me. My arms don't work either. Oh, I made the joke. That whole thing that you just said made me think of like prince, like being a princess or a queen or whatever. I made the joke. I took a photo and I sent it to a few people. And I was like, look, I'm a passenger princess. And Kyle goes, you ain't no princess. You're no passenger. I'm like, excuse me, sir? He goes, you're married. You're a passenger queen. Ooh. I was all like, okay, I can. I, can, I see okay. you. <laughs> Thank you. I was about to be like, boy. <laughs> He's a good man. Mm. Uh, I was about to. I was about to. I was like, oh, you, you talking? Yeah, this is, I, love, I love those. <laughs> and you're in trouble. Nope. Nope. Never mind. You fixed it. You're We're good. Fine. You're good. You're fine. We're good. We're, we're good. I love creating those problems with my wife so I can I purposely ruin things so I can backpedal out. I love backpedaling. It's my favorite oh, thing you, to do. I, I got this for you instead. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just saying something on like I ugh, I'll pretend I messed up saying something. She'll never listen to this episode. Just so she'll get mad so I can try to make it better. It's just I love doing it. It's just well, a good, you know, it's episode, good for the huh? brain. So I shouldn't tell her, hey, you better listen to this episode. I mean you can, she won't. <laughs> Say what, say whatever we want right now. Go ahead, boogie, be free. Boogie woogie. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, she'll never know. I'm gonna be like, hey babe, did you listen to the episode? And she'll go, yes. I'll be like, oogie. And I'll know she didn't listen because she won't finish the sentence. Huh. I can call her a liar. So yeah, go ahead, tell her to listen. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm gonna lock her in that lie. <laughs> so you're you're gaming, right? You're meeting yeah. the man of your dreams, starting to have kids, create a family. Um, when do you start making your own like account and stuff, which leads us into for... Jules nine one nine zero? Oh yeah. So for I made Twitch around COVID. Okay. Legit that because I made it to basically be able to connect with people. I had a friend that lived in a different city. Um, he wanted to watch some of the gameplay, but he was at work. He's like, I can watch and listen because he was a meal. He uh, worked yeah. in the kitchen, so he could have his earbud in and listen. But, you know, he couldn't play the game. So he was like, I would like to be able to, you know, look at, hey, that's kind of cool. Or, you know, whatever. So I started doing that. And as people started talking, I was like, oh, this is kind of cool. And so I just, you know, went with it. Um, Jules9190 is a playoff of one Jules. Uh, it's my nickname. And then 91 and 90 is birth years. Because um, <clears throat> Kyle's younger. You can guess whose birth year is what. His is 72. 75? 69. Damn it. Wait, what? So hey, <laughs> that's not how you make a baby. No, it's not. <laughs> uh, cowgirl, maybe. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Let's get into that a little bit. What's your favorite? No, it's okay. <laughs> oh, hey there. <laughs> that, no, that's uh, going back to Twitch just to save ourselves from that. Yeah. Um, that's the exact <laughs> same reason I got into it. Was I? Was, I'd never looked at Twitch before, and I had a friend who was like, "Hey, I think it was Assassin's Creed Origins was launching," and he's like, "I can watch this at work." We downloaded on the PlayStation the app, and I was like, "Sweet!" So I thought it was like a peer-to-peer -peer streaming thing. I didn't realize it was like alive to anyone who clicked on it. Alive to anyone? Yeah. So the first time, like a random person came in and started talking about the game, I was like, "What the fuck is this? This is really cool." <laughs> I was like, "All right, I'm hooked," and that's when I actually went to the. I think I actually went to Twitch.tv for the first time. Like a month after streaming, because you didn't have to go there to. <laughs> no, you don't. You don't have to do that. Yeah, and so, we yeah. had gotten our PCs. We got when we moved because we moved into our house, um, in 2020, and I we didn't get our PCs till like eh, I want to say a couple months late. Like it was the next year. It was like 2021, but early, like super early in the year, and uh, it was during tax season. So you know, gotta get that tax money. Amen. Pay for your PC parts. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Um, and so we, me and Kyle both got the same exact PC cause we were like, you know, we just want to have, we are tired of buying playstations or Xboxes that new ones come out. 
you can't upgrade the parts, but you can buy the new one for the same price you bought the old one. Where with the PC, you can upgrade the parts. You can be like, oh, I need a new graphics card. Buy the graphics card. You don't have to worry about buying the entire new system. And so that's kind of where we went, okay, this is what we're doing. So we bought it then, and that's when I was like, you know what? And I actually started out in the ding in my in our bedroom with it because I was like, I didn't have anywhere to put the PC. Kyle was out here yes. where I'm at now, and so I was like, I was in the in the the camera I had was so old. It was one that like pixelated. You know, one of those really old I know round. Exactly what you're talking about. Oh my god, so old. I went back and looked at clips, and I was like, man how far I've come. <laughs> Jules, we might be the same person. Oh my goodness. How far you've come. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, st I started in, in the bedroom cause there's nowhere else to set up anything. Right. I it's... did get a camera. Well, there was the PlayStation camera cause I started on console. Yeah. The PlayStation camera is kind of, it, it can be, it's all right. It's not the best, but I mean, for, Starting out, you don't even need a, no, it's, it's you, nice to have a camera, but you don't need it. Mm. And then when I first got on PC, I asked my mom, I'm like, Do you have any extra like webcams around? And it was the same big circle <laughs> thing, you know, that like the round just, thing that's yes. weird and it sits weird. And you're like, How am I supposed to sit The cable this on is mine? awkwardly <laughs> short. Yeah, I know. We were, I was pulling it and I'm like, Okay, so my okay, it's right here. I got it up there. And I'm like, It's not moving now, it's stuck. <laughs> This is where you arrest for the end of your days. Not no more. I got a different camera now. It, the cord's still kind of short, but it's not as short. Yeah. Which camera do you have now? <laughs> I have the Logi Logitech. Um, it was like a between 100 and 150. It wasn't too expensive. Was like the, I Was it a C920? Mm, yes, I think it was a C922, We're the same if person. I'm correct. We're the same person. Yeah, it was. It, it's a good camera. It's not a bad oh, camera at all. Yeah, I was like, if I upgrade, then cool. But right now, I'm like, hey, it works for me. I've never, I've never felt like I needed. I mean, obviously, you can tell the difference between like, you know, crazy high end cameras. But I'm like, I've seen some crazy high end cameras. Doing? Yes. Oh yeah. I'm like, Before you can see your pores. You might need to get that, you know, pore. <laughs> see, and that's why I don't want to get one of those because <laughs> no one needs to see what this face really looks like. A vague <laughs> outline, yes. Just start putting makeup on, you know, just start powdering like, you know, news people do. They put the. <laughs> I bet. I mean, I bet some of these guys legitly have to with these crazy. Cameras I mean, some of them might have to unless they just put because I mean, I bet you there's filters that you could put to make your beautiful. That's true. You could put some beauty filters on. Exactly. Put yeah. the, the mask, the, my eyelashes all long because they're short and, you know. My son took them all. <laughs> Will you choose some uh, some out for me? Do you think it would make my eyes pop and, you know, it would be good for my <laughs> cheekbones? Get those rosy, rosy cheeks. <laughs> They're pretty naturally rosy. Just, it's just I'm an pinch alcoholic. them a little bit. You, you just pinch it a little bit and you twist and they just turn all nice and red. I just have my wife slap me across the face before I go oh, live. Whack, whack. Yeah, that's how I get that oh. done. Yeah. Natural. Got it. Also it. puts me in a great mood to stream, you know. You're like I can kill things now. Burn. <laughs> so what are you what are you playing these days? Cuz I know it was a these... lot of obviously things we've played together is mostly like Warzone and Apex and Fortnite and stuff. Are you still playing I those play... or are we all over the I... place now? So I don't have Apex installed anymore. I uninstalled it a long time ago. Oh, let's have um, a moment for just me and you real quick for escaping. Ready? <sighs> Isn't that nice? It was. It is nice. So I've got a lot of games downloaded. And as and I had a friend that I was playing with on a bunch of these games. He just had a baby. So, you know, the whole newborn stage. You, you oh, can't yeah. get on as often. But... I play a lot of Pal World offline, like a ton of it. Ooh, I'm obsessed yeah. with Pal World because Pokemon, it's basically Pokemon with nukes. You can like missile launchers. Come on. Yeah. Like what? And they're coming out with this new expansion. I'm excited. I'm like, come on. Cause I'm as high a level and I've got everything now. And I'm like, I just want the next expansion. <laughs> I just need the new stuff. I've done all um, but of it. We, I'm ready for the next. Um, so I have, we play that with my friend, Nay, the one, my best friend that I was talking about from Washington. Oh, in Washington. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, and then so Kyle and I, we play a lot of COD. We've got Helldivers 2. Excellent. Um, we started playing Dying Light 2 as well. Oh, shit. Yeah. I know. It, it I've not, never touched was, it, but I have so I'm, many friends who play I've it. I've played Dying Light. I loved the game. I played Dying Light continuously on the PlayStation. We'd finished, pretty much finished the campaign for Dying Light was getting into the expansion, which was like cars and all this stuff. And we never finished that part. But I was like, oh, Dying Light 2 is coming out. And we never bought it. And then a friend of mine was like, hey, you know, those discount sites. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, here, just go to like this site here and see if it's on it cheaper. And I found Speaking it for of like... pirate shanties. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, okay. So me and Kyle both were able to get it and everything so we could be able to play it and stuff like that. I want to get back into Diablo 4, though. Yeah, I'm trying because the I new that new I didn't get expansion, the new expansion look. I don't know if you've seen the trailers for any of it, uh -oh, but the, oh look. my goodness, it's crazy. Four. Well, Sweet. the trailer for that one is a little long. Like it's a slight. I think it's about four or five minutes long. It's like a mini movie. <laughs> as as Blizzard does, yeah. I'm gonna exactly. Google image first just to see all content and stuff. Oh, yeah, it's it's crazy. And then another one that I want to get back into, but I don't have the expansion yet, is De Destiny 2. Oh, yeah, because that new expansion just hit. Yeah. And it's really good. I watched the race, the world first race of that. Oh, my goodness. So you just watched a bunch of people with black screens? No, I did not. So Glad <laughs> didn't, Glad on Twitch didn't black out his screen. Oh, huge. I was all like, this is where I'm going to be right now. <laughs> uh huh. Because I went to watch someone else and it was just them. And I was all like, but I'm not here to watch you. I mean, yes, I'm here to watch you, but I'm also here to watch the game. Well, yeah, and it's like, and everyone that had their screens blacked out, guess what? None of them won. No, and I think one of the people that the one of the people the people that did win, I don't think actually blacked out their screen. Uh, I just didn't know any they of had them. Like. It's something not like completely unknown, but they didn't have like very many people watching, if I remember correctly. It was like a group of people that it was Team Parabellum or something like that. Yeah. Team Parabellum. And I just didn't I just didn't know them very well. And I was like, dude, this is so cool. Like I'm glad went in there and you know, congratulated them and everything for winning and every I was like, you know what? That's that's cool. But yeah, no, I didn't. I, the, if I found one that had the screen up of just them or black, I was like, you know what? We're good. I want to watch the game. <laughs> 19 hours, though, the longest that any raid, the world record right now is and, that uh, raid. You know, I'm not saying there's a connection here, but it's the least amount of Titans it's ever been in any group for a raid. And it took the longest. I'm not saying those two statistics are connected. Hey, but you know what? You know connected. what? Hunters are amazing. So they are super fun, and everyone plays them. I yeah, think it's. Me. I think a statistic came out. It's like <laughs> it's like seventy five percent of people right now are all playing hunters. It's and crazy. I was going to say, what is it? That and then titans and then warlocks? Because no, I can't. No, it's really? titans are like the smallest portion right now. I think. Really, I was going to say I don't like. I would play titan before I play a hunter, just because I don't like the warlock. way the. Yeah, because I don't like. Uh, the way the warlock jumps and stuff like that. Oh, That's what amen. I measure it. I measure my play I to have, how the jumps go. <laughs> I have played Destiny since the launch day D1? of D1. Or D2. And yeah, I've, okay, never, <laughs> I've never made a... Well, I've made warlocks before. And then I, I jump in the first mission and I go... Yep. No, nope, not for me. And I delete I the character. Finished the first, I finished the first mission and then it just sits there. Yeah, no, I don't even. If you go to my character select screen right now, and remember, I'm a guy who used to have a Destiny podcast. Like I was, yes, you hardcore did. in Destiny. Um, really enjoying playing it again, by the way. But yep, don't even have a, a warlock character at all. Period. That's crazy. Nope, not for me. Yeah, I just it's not for me either. As, as I said, I'm a hunter. Kyle's a titan. He likes the Hell titans. Yeah, brother. <laughs> it was great when you uh. And when the, I don't, you were with me for my first, the finishing of my first raid. I don't know if you were with Kyle in the finishing no, of his I first raid. No, I said I wanted to, but I don't, I don't know if it's like, there was some if sort was of scheduling time. problem. Yeah, I remember yeah. that. But he was excited to finish his first raid because we had been trying to do Callus, um, the first D2 raid. Yes. 
we'd been trying to do that one for what seemed weeks and we can never get everyone to stay. We would get to the end. We would get some of the damage done. We would all die. And then the people would be like, eh, it's late. We're going to get off. I'm all like, done. what? Yeah. We, we get to the end and then you do this. And then, you know, we never, we never finished it. So. Yeah. I remember super stuck. you were able to do a raid. That was great. <laughs> yeah, no, it was so much fun doing that raid with you because we did. I believe we did King's Fall together. Was your first? Yes, raid. we did. Yes, a King's yes, Fall in it Destiny was... too. <laughs> it was a lot of fun. It I loved so it. Fun. You did so good too. Hey, I. It's like riding a bike when you get in Destiny and you get back into the groove. It's like riding a bike. Yeah. Well, I just remember you were all nervous, you know, and I brought because I made sure that the team was stacked. Right. That's what I was nervous about. I was like, I'm the newbie here and I don't know nothing. <laughs> and you, I mean, well, it was just, I, cause there's certain people not saying that anyone's bad at the game, right? There's just certain people that takes longer to figure things out. Right. Mechanic yeah. wise. And you were, it was so awesome. Cause we'd ran a few people through that were that way where you had to explain things like seven or eight times. And it's like, we'd tell you what the mechanic was. You'd see it. And you'd be like, okay, cool. No problem. And like, anytime we had an issue during the raid, it was everyone else messing up and not you. <laughs> Hey, I died once or twice. It was during the uh, the phase where you have the two rooms on one side, and you had to take the ball or something like that. Oh, there was in some the middle, the yeah, ball yeah, yeah. The, yeah. And there's an uh, you had to go into the um, that's the a shield tough one to survive. I think. Yeah, yeah, and you'd have to like fight all the knights and stuff like that, and it was it but was even a little that, difficult it was there. Usually, but... like you know, other things happening that caused a death, you know. You did, uh, what I'm trying to take the goddamn compliment. I'm Jules. take okay, fine. You did I'm a amazing. god. There, now we're talking. Sorry. <laughs> too far, too far. Reel it in. Reel it back. Oh no, Bridges, here we go. Ah, my ego's gone. My ego's just out there. It's all over. <laughs> oh my god. Jude else is out there though. What? Questions in the Discord if you want to get into those. Sure. I was a. Uh... I don't know how I'm going to answer some of them, but I'll try. You're going to do great. I'm so proud of you already. <laughs> all right, let's do this. I love that people are really hopping into asking questions for all the guests now. It makes it the first couple of times was like, well, no one asks questions. So I guess I'll make some stuff up. And it's like people are diving in. I love this. Um, all right. First question coming in from my little sister, Blue Laser. If the world is your oyster, would it be the kind you get pearls from or the one that makes you sl the one that the ones, oh my God, I can't read. The kind you get pearls from or the ones you make that slurping noise as you suck in its guts? Probably say the pearls. The pearls. I, oh. I'm i not an oyster person. It's, not even like Rocky it's, Mountain oysters? No, because that's a whole nother. <laughs> that's a whole nother oyster right there. <laughs> it's still technically a pearl. Yeah. That's weird. Yeah. I'm good. No. Okay. <laughs> yeah, oh, no, it'd be so the pearls cool. because the pearls are, you know, they're one, they're actually kind of hard to come by from what I'm, what from, you know, natural. I've never found one. I've never found a natural no. pearl. So Maybe that'd be we'll find cool. one at that, at that, uh, at camp, that lodge, at the lodge in Canada. <laughs> well, we got to check to see if there's oysters there. That's true. <laughs> uh, also, do you have a history topic you are obsessed with? And if so, what is it? That was the, cause I, I went through and kind of browsed the questions Yeah, and I saw that one and I was like, man, that's really hard. Cause I don't know. It's, uh, what's considered like history in a way, like it, it, you thinking anything way back in the day, like I'm obsessed with like Nordic Viking yeah stuff but i don't history. know what what taught like that's a very broad topic yeah so but that I don't covers know, a very I, broad I section of history that counts and so i don't know a lot about it i'm oh. trying to learn it i just love the the dog randomly got in the room Ooh, woof, woof. what are you doing in here baby <laughs> oh is mommy mad at you did you do this mommy? portion of the podcast is sponsored by milkbone Milk bone. <laughs> Don't feed your dog those. <laughs> Milk bone. They're but really no, bad. So, I'm just trying to learn 
more about them because I love the artifacts. I love the way yes. that, you know, the different um, cultures that, you know, they, they believe in different things. Their cultures are different. They're just different stuff that, because I'm, I don't think I have that in me for like, I've got Irish, Cajun, and I, from what I'm told, some German, and so very, very, very little Native American. Yeah, but anyone Not who a- can, you know, successfully survive Alaska, I think, <laughs> you know, technically, you've got Viking blood in you. I, I would hope so. It, I mean, it gets cold here. Yeah, exactly. See, so you're set. It gets cold. I but stay no, it inside. It is fascinating because you have, you know, obviously there's a difference between what really happened and what TVs and movies does. Yeah, and exactly. Because I was going to say, like, Vikings, the show. I was obsessed with that show, but I also know that's Hollywood. Yeah. I mean, there is some factual stuff in it. They try to keep to it, but they also have to create that drama. Exactly. Because, you know, who wants to just watch? I mean, some people do like to watch just history, but, like, you know, you want a little bit of that drama drama. Exactly. Who does love some drama? And there's so much drama in history. There in is. There's so know, much. Folks, a lot of world history is full of drama. I don't, there's it's, been a couple wars in all of history, you know. I bet you it's because of a woman. Drama. Yeah, you know? yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Someone wanted to fall in love with one woman and it wasn't their woman, so they got mad about it and they got it caused a war. Exactly. War. And then they told a woman no, and then she went and got in love with someone else. Then he got upset about that. And so then, yeah. It's a whole Moral thing. Of the story, don't tell your woman no. no. <laughs> yeah, or, or painters. Don't ever tell painters no. <laughs> Phew, man uh coming in from someone you may know a little bit about uh, rye guy the beer guy ah uh, my golf with friends buddy oh uh, if you could have one pokemon to go on an adventure with not catching other pokemon but to find artifacts buried treasure what pokemon would you choose and why so i don't know if he actually knows who my favorite pokemon is and I don't know if I would ever like fight with this Pokemon because I don't know their like if their abilities are very good against others. But I'm obsessed with Sylveon, which is an evil Eevee evolution. That's a mouthful. Um, Say that super times. cute. <laughs> Eevee evolution. Eevee evolution. Eevee evolution. Dang, nicely done. <laughs> um, and it's funny because I actually have a mouse pad, a mat one of those really long ones, the really big ones. And it has Eevee and uh, Sylveon on it. I got it specially made. Um, And then I've got a bunch of other Eevees and I've got, I'm, I'm a Pokemon person. I like Pokemon. Yeah. <laughs> They're cute and cuddly. Some of them, some of them are just, you know, if I cuddle you, I'd make like the room. gas bomb. Yeah. <laughs> I'd make a raft out of Snorlax and we just go explore everywhere. We when we went to Target yesterday, they had oh I was so upset that that was like fifty dollars for this really big like Eevee stuffed animal, and then they had a big Snorlax, <gasps> and I was all like oh you're so much, <laughs> but so but so worth it, right? My daughter she's obsessed with the uh, they have the I don't know it's the I don't know what they're called they're not Legos but they're the Pokemon. That are lit. They're the Lego Pokemon, so you could like make the Pokemon. Oh, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's built a ton of them and has them displayed in her room. I love that. So I'll have to take a photo and show them to you because she has like an actual like shelf just for that specifically. And she has another one that she has to make because she got another one while we were at Target. It's a thing. Where's all my money go? To the children. To the children. As it should. To the children and the government. <laughs> and sometimes games. And the gas tank. Oh man, don't don't remind me. I don't have a family vehicle right now, so we're using Kyle's gas guzzler truck. Oh no. For your two oh, and yeah. a half hour commute. Yeah, we uh well it wasn't as bad as I thought it was gonna be, but it costs half a tank was like almost sixty bucks. Jeez. Yeah, what's gas cost for you right now? Uh, three seventy five. Okay, yeah, three seventy nine. Okay, as bad as I thought it was going to be. It's it it's might go up because July is mm-hmm. tier tier season, and I don't leave the house because it's dip netting, and that means that everybody comes to my town and goes to my beach and trashes it. 
and dip nets and guts their fish on the beach. So <laughs> I'm I don't go. Way. I don't go usually to town unless I have to, and I go back roads. Yeah, I hear you. I like <laughs> I'm that. like I'm not going that main road. Nope, we're good. <laughs> So it's right now it's 375. It was like 420. <laughs> 420. It was though. It was weird. I was like, wait, why are we doing something here? For yeah, someone approved <laughs> this. All right. I dig it. <laughs> so it, it fluctuates during the summer a yeah, lot. That sounds about right. Yeah. It'll flux. I mean, it'll be like one day you'll be like, holy shit, this is cheap. And then you go to get, I'll get that gas tomorrow. I know. And then the next day it's like 30 cents more. And you're like, and you're like, I no. should have went yesterday. Uh-huh. <laughs> Ugh, brutal. Uh, right. Next question coming in from Mr. Cheesy. At some point in your life, there will be a very hard decision to make. To either be petty and get some self-satisfaction or to take the high road. Which path would you take and why? A deep question. So it is a deep question. And when I read that, I went, you know, I probably have already had this decision have to be made once or twice in my life. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Because I've got, I've had toxic exes. I've had toxic exes with w- their wives that are, you know, just you know, you know, a bunch of people. Um, and I've usually taken the high road because for me, I don't like conflict. I'm very much a, I, and that's why I let you guys, me and Squirrel love it when you guys deal with the conflict sometimes, you know, and aspects of, you know, the community and stuff like that. If there's ever a conflict <laughs> that I don't do well with conflict. Um, I do really well but with online. <laughs> online's easy because you know, warrior. but I don't know. It would, it would have to be something really sp- 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 specific. There we go. There you go. Had Nailed to get that it. word out. First try. Um, first try. <laughs> um, it'd have to be something that, um, really, irked me i don't know it would have to someone would have to piss me off to that point and i mean i've been close to that point before i mean i was never a bridezilla if that helps any well we would have known that wasn't too long ago so but (laughs) it was close (laughs) no i uh yeah me and kyle actually talked about it we're at our 10 months already that's, has it really? I thought that just happened it's like two been, months ago, it feels like. I know it feels like it, but it's been 10 months. We're our one year, our technically our one year wedding anniversary is on August 5th. And our 12 year together is the same day. I think it's 12 or 13 That's years. So cool. I have to look at the thing. 13, 13 years. Yeah. So no, we did it sense. the same day as our anniversary of being together i was like this will make it to where you can't forget (laughs) because i i couldn't go because we just bought a house spoiler that's expensive (laughs) especially no i don't even want to know like your guys's uh what do you call it your interest rates and stuff on that house because we got 176 percent. can you believe that (laughs) that's a lot it's 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 better than it was in denver (laughs) denver was 378 (laughs) like I saved myself 2%. Heck yeah. Good job. Thanks. Thanks. Uh, if there's one thing yeah, I have, no, it's so frugal. The whole petty thing, it, and I can be petty, but it's just with kids and with the way, you know, I've gotten to that point where I'm like, if someone's going to make such a big deal or do something that makes me mad, normally half the time they're not usually making it as my friend to begin with. I, I, it's hard to say, but like, I don't know. It's... I don't have a lot of friends in this town because most of them either left stabbing at my friends because they left me. That sounds and, or, pretty you know, petty. High school. Or high school. Yeah. You know, you, you don't, some some high school friends you keep in touch with, some of oh, them yeah. you don't. And it's just, this is the way it is. You don't. Yeah. So it just all depends. I try not to uh, start stuff because I just, if it comes to me and it's already started, I'll finish it. But I'm not going to start it. Yeah, I respect that. I'm a very petty guy. I, it's it's bad. <laughs> I took the high oh. road majority of my life, and it back and it, it never worked out for me. So I was like, you know what? 
fuck that. I'm done. Yeah. <laughs> I am. It's bad. To the point where I look at the mirror sometimes and I'm like, buddy, you got to fucking cut it out. But it's worked Wait, out, so maybe I don't need to. I mean, petty can work. Petty Karma can, can work. also work on the, the people that, you know, do you wrong, too. Karma That's can true. happen. You know what they say. Karma's a bitch. Heck, yeah. Should have known better. Best serve cold. <laughs> As my my musical muse, Jojo Siwa says. Uh, next question from Cheesy. In the same line, though. Also, is there a specific thing you would always be petty about regardless? Uh, example, if someone yells at their girlfriend in public and you got the opportunity to key their car with a guarantee that you wouldn't get caught. Mm, see, I'm not all for destruction of other people's property. This is where we and differ. I've made the jokes to Kyle, like the whole like before he cheat, like the the song Carrie Underwood, you know, she, you know, keys his car you know yeah Yeah. i've done all like i was like (laughs) or the better dig two song where it talks about if you stray they better dig two one for you and one for me type deal oh yeah yeah yeah. um i've played those songs from been like hey you better watch out but i don't know if i could maybe it would have to do it would have to be a very big issue that happens like it would have to be it's so much that my rage took over type deal and that's not very often i don't have rage takeover like that now i'll get very petty and protective if it has to do with my children or anyone else's children for that matter i'll get very petty and protective just depends on the situation yeah a uh, cheesy example that. is kind of perfect. If I see if there's a dude yelling at his girlfriend in public, that pisses me off so. It hard. does, and I've actually never, I've actually never witnessed anything like that. I think we witnessed it one time. It was like a big crowd, and it, I we didn't have to do anything about it because other people did. But it was a the guy was like pissed off, and they were scream matching it right next to their vehicle, and it was at a Fourth of July parade event. So there was like hundreds of people there and I'm like, you are an idiot. Oh yeah. Well, that's <laughs> the thing is like, even if, if Lisa upsets me in public, like, and this is all part of anxiety too, but like, I'm like, I can't do, I can't say, I can't even whisper to her that I'm mad about something in public. Like, <laughs> I'm like, God, oh, what if people so, see it? You know, people who are that comfortable in public. Well, that's the thing is like, if they're that comfortable in public, like what are they doing? Not in public, you know, like that's exactly what what's happening behind but closed doors. On the other then on the other side of that though, if there's a woman chewing at, chewing her husband's ass out or not. Yeah. Just in the middle of the street, just fucking cheeks deep in the cheeks. No, just like cussing this dude out. I fucking love it. <laughs> I grab popcorn. I'm taking notes. You're like, okay, so what's happening here? I need, I need some context. Or like when a parent is well, just super mad? upset, the kid, and not like a, you know, you fucking piece of shit. I hate you, you know. But like, you can just tell they hit their breaking point, and they're like, I oh, me love you basis. so much, <laughs> but you have pushed me too far. Those moments, I, there's people that hear that and they go, oh my god, what terrible parents. And I'm like, no, that's a good parent. They love their kid enough to like be this upset in this moment. And it's right funny now. because and it cracks with me my up. son, with my son, he's autistic. And so I've, I've been having to learn different like ways to bring him down from fits. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And like, if you'll have a fit in the store and people will walk by and stuff and be like looking and staring and stuff, I get embarrassed. Like you get embarrassed oh, when yeah, your kids absolutely. decide to throw themselves on the floor. It doesn't matter if they're, you know, five or 13, and, you yeah. know, you, you throw yourself on the floor. I'm get up bro. And you can't just leave them in the, in the aisles anymore because this day and age, you never know what's lurking around the next aisle. So I, uh, I had a, had this older lady come up to me and she's like, you're doing such a good job. And I'm sitting here thinking I'm about to cry. Thank you. So <laughs> <laughs> like you, you don't think you're like, Oh my goodness. Someone, I, I thank you. I'm trying my hardest. And it usually happens when Kyle's not home. <laughs> Because the second parent's not there. Yeah, exactly. To be that buffer. Exactly. Or to so, have someone, well, you can't vent about it. It's different to I've, vent over the phone than it is in person, you know? And yeah, it's a little bit different. I vent to my mom a lot. My mom lives here. 
And so, which is funny, because I'll probably go and see her tomorrow. My daughter made team gymnastics. I hadn't told you that, had I? That you she didn't. actually made I, it? I know she had the try. I didn't know she actually made it. They were so doing awesome. tryouts, and the tryouts were more of a formality in a yeah. way, because they had so many kids want to try out, but only three of them showed up. <laughs> <laughs> and they were the three that had been in gymnastics for at least four to seven years. Yeah. So they had already like they had their skills. They they the knew coaches all the coaches. Knew all, yeah, yeah, they knew all the stuff. So it was like okay. And so the the part where we knew she had gotten it, they were uh, they measured her for her competition Leo the other day. So we had to order that. <laughs> if anyone wants to know. Stuff's expensive, uh-huh. but, but we told her cause Kyle was all like, you know, I wish that I would have been able to do some of the things that I wanted when I was a kid, but we didn't have the money to do it. He goes, and if we are able to scrounge up the money for our kids to do what they want, I want them to be able to do it, whatever sport, whatever, yes. you know, because that. that it helps them succeed. They have a goal. They have a dream. They succeed. So yeah. It's a good thing, but yeah, no, she made you she made the team. Job. She made the team. We're we're there for it. It's three days a week and early in the morning. Ugh. <laughs> Yay, parenting! <laughs> that um, reminded that the sound I made reminded me of that uh, TikTok. I suffer from depression and anxiety. How do those two go together? <laughs> 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 really fluid it's great <laughs> anyways <laughs> uh next question coming in, the third will have you heard the word the word the word, the word bird the bird word bird's the word bird is the word <laughs> i have heard the bird's the word i hope that's the word <laughs> Uh, I was into it because usually he brings the really deep philosophical questions every every time. I know. So I like I've the, seen uh, some of the questions that he's brought. I'm like, oh yeah. That's What's your one? deepest regret? Oh what? <laughs> it's oh, it, my it's always fun. Regret it's is like not meeting Fuddy like, earlier. It should have been thirty years and not twenty seven. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> we're the same age. We're like <laughs> we're the same person. We should definitely have been friends longer. Except the fact that I don't like the cold and you do. Well, I don't know if he would like the cold here. I might. You just have to be a little bit. It was like negative 25 here for a week, and I was like, I don't hate this. Hey. Okay, Uh I mean, Uh about the same. You're supposed to be a good girl when you're with me. I'm (laughs) supposed to make mommy (laughs) mad because you're so good for me. Yeah. Not going to happen. There you go, sweetie. Good girl. Not going to happen. I know you're so cute. How old is the puppy? She's so cute. I think she's five months now. Oh, she's huge. My kid's been bugging me for a puppy, and I'm all like, guys, I I got you two and all the other things I have to do. <laughs> a puppy I don't have time great. right now. It's definitely uh, the, uh, the breed dependent, but uh, at the same time with kids, I was like, I kind of wish I'd got not like an old dog, but I'm like, I don't know if I want to do puppy because they expect more I out of the dog. I really than there is. wanted I really wanted to get a husky when Aurora was born because oh, yeah. the whole like the baby cries, the husky makes noise and then they like can talk to each other type deal and it's so cute and then the husky's like very gentle. Um a husky's one of my dream dogs, but I have so many dogs that I love. So it's like I don't know which one I could get. <laughs> you have to get a husky. What's well, the husky's one parts here. Of the country people should not own huskies in. And Alaska is one of those I think it's okay. Yeah, because they never want to come inside. I've I've seen those things where people are like, take the dog inside, it's cold. And you go out there to yell it to come inside. It don't want to come in. Mm-mm. It is like, uh-uh, this is it's my happy. natural habitat. Yeah. I'm glad here. This is where I'm at. For the I'm first at. time in my life, I'm happy. <laughs> I like the snow. <laughs> I'm like, good, you stay out there because I don't like snow. Go play. All right, next question is from someone you know nothing about. Um, I don't think you'd get along. Um, it's really tough to ask the questions from them, but... They're part of the community. Uh, I kind of want to puke just saying it, but um, <laughs> just, oh, this is tough. Glad to be he, he, here. Oh, okay, my goodness. A Julie question. <laughs> what's one of your favorite, what's one of your favorite memories? All right. And I even asked her because I was like, okay, squirrel, that is a very broad question. 
It wasn't a blonde and I was, question. No, it was very broad, though. Very broad. I was like, are you meaning gaming? Or are you meaning, like, overall? And she was like, yes. And I was like, that don't help me either. Because <laughs> there's so many different, like, memories I have. So if I'm going to go childhood, we'll go childhood first. Childhood memory. Um, wow, I just blanked on childhood memories. Hmm. Um, actually, I'll make a funny memory. It's not one of my favorites, but it is a funny memory that has stayed with me. When I was three. Okay. I fell down a flight of stairs. That explains Broke my collarbone. Uh, but I've fallen down a lot of stairs. We're just, <laughs> we're just not going to start with that one. Okay, That's a whole okay, other. Got it, got it, got it. <laughs> it's like, I've, I've fallen down like at least four or five sets of stairs in my lifetime. Um. Anyways, <laughs> I fell down some stairs, broke my collarbone, had an ambulance come pick me up. Um. Back then, the way that they would give you like antibiotics or anything was usually a shot in the butt. I don't understand why it had to be in the booty cheeks. But it had to be in the butt cheeks. I don't understand it, but it did. I don't I don't get it. I'm like, you could have just, you know, whatever. I took a swing at the paramedic. <laughs> at three years old? <laughs> yep, I took a swing. So I'm inside the ER there, you know, because they can't really do anything for a collarbone break. They put you in a brace, and that's about the extent of it until and you're three, so your bones are going to fuse back together. That paramedic came back, and I still have this teddy bear to this day. He brought me a teddy bear after I took a swing at him. Oh, I love <laughs> and that. And so I still have the teddy bear, and the only reason I remember what year it was is because on the foot of the teddy bear it says 1993. So, and I, you know, I was born in 1990, so I had to been two or I had to been three. Woo-hoo. The best year to be so, born. So, I know, right? 1990. Heck yeah. I didn't know 90s. we were the exact same age for some reason. <laughs> I, don't ever, we, I know so, we were ballpark, but this is cool. But yeah, so that was my childhood memory. Um, gaming memory, there's a bunch of them. Like, you know, doing your Apex Legends. Um, oh my goodness, I have completely spaced what I was... You're not going to help me. Tournament. There we go. Apex. Sorry, I thought I heard crying at a little dad moment at the same time. <laughs> okay, that's good. Hey, look, we're great. I know. Um, Apex tournament. Legends tournaments. Uh, I, got you. I I love playing with those with Squirrel. Um, another one of my favorite gaming memories was the first time I ever got to play with a streamer that I mod for now. Um, he plays only Warzone. It drives me nuts. I try to get him to play other things. It doesn't work. I try. It doesn't. You At know. least you try. I try. I'm like, come play golf with your friends because I've played that with them too. That was a fun night. I was drunk. I don't remember it. Um, worth it. <laughs> worth it. Um, but no, I, you know, playing games with someone that knows a lot more of the game and he would call me a bot and stuff like that. And I'm all like, I know I am. That's why you're supposed to carry me in your backpack. Carry like, better. You know, carry me, senpai. Like, you know, the banter and stuff. Favorite memories. As I said, it's kind of hard. I mean, one of my favorite memories would have to be, in all honesty, and this is going to be cliche, my wedding day walking down the aisle. That's um, uh, That should be one of your best memories. There's and we have a video. Like we have a video. A friend of mine took a video. I was walking down the aisle. She turned the video towards Kyle. And he's wiping a tear. Oh, I love that. And so, you know, it was it was a good it was a good day. It was really hot, but it was a good day. <laughs> it was you hot know, 70, you Come on. 70, 70 degree weather and a big dress. <laughs> oh, 70 sounds amazing. I mean it's fifty one right now. That sounds even better. <laughs> Me and my kids are actually talking about this last night. We we're on a walk. And they were talking about what their favorite weather was. And I was like, you know, when I was like a teenager, I was like 75. I was like, this is perfect. Heck yeah. And as I've gotten older and work outside now, I was like, in my 20s, I was like, nah, 65 is great. And now I'm like, yeah, 45 to 55. It's kind of like you, my you wear You spot. wear those shorts all the time, don't yeah. you? <laughs> it's, if I can wear my shorts and a hoodie. That's what Nay does work, when she would oh, work I'm for. So happy. When she worked for FedEx all the time, that was, yeah. she wore shorts all the time. Even in winter, they would stare at her and be like, what? And mm-hmm. she's like, "It's it, this is 
summer spring weather for me. <laughs> yeah, when I was down in Denver, we had a blizzard so bad one time they had to close the post office and call us all back. And I was wearing shorts that day. <laughs> I bet. <laughs> I was like, oh, this is, it was the only time I was kind of, and I wasn't really like freezing, but it was, it was the first time I was like, maybe I made a bad choice. It's a little chilly. Well, because it was like that. The wind is blowing really hard. So it's like that, that sideways icicle storm. I and hate that the sideways snow. Like, yeah. oh my, right in the face. Didn't feel good on the legs that day, but not too bad. Uh, if you could cosplay anyone, who would it be and why? There's a few, but one of the ones that I've always wanted to cosplay, because I was obsessed with her in X-Men, was Rogue. Oh, yes. Um, so... Backstory, my username on most of my old accounts before, because on Call of Duty, it was Jules6990. I had to take the 69 out, because, well, yeah. we all know. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. G- lovely people. Um, <laughs> but before then, aside from COD, most of my name like on games itself was usually Rogue Jules. I was obsessed with Rogue. It was one of my favorite characters. And I all I was like, I want to be her. I want, you know, I wanted the long hair with the one stripe. I wanted all of it. Like that was what I wanted to be. And so she'd probably be my number one. And then from there, I'm, I think I'm too short to be Loba. No. In all honesty, I, I'm, I'm short. When cosplaying, I don't think height, none of that matters. No, you just got to make sure that you fit into the costume. That's it. Yeah. But no, so that's that'd be Rogue's my number one, I think, just because when I X Men came out, that was my favorite character. I was obsessed with Rogue and Iceman. Those are my two. I wasn't, you know, obsessed with Wolverine and all that stuff. I was obsessed with those two. But I think it was because they were more my age. Like they were in that age range. They were in school. They, you know, learning. So that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, well, let's yeah, make yeah, those yeah. dreams come true. Someday, I do want to. I'm a. Uh, I've I've been talking. I was like, hey, I should do this cosplay because I have wigs. I have. A, I'm not that wig specifically, but I do have a few wigs. I'll find a Comic Con in British Columbia, Canada. <laughs> we'll we'll just meet do up, that. and I'll be <laughs> I'll be Tifa from Final Fantasy VII. Is that who you would? Is <laughs> that I'll who you would amazing. cosplay? Is that your number one <laughs> Absolutely. cosplay? Absolutely. Yeah. No questions. No question. <laughs> Man, no, that or honestly, like if I could do like a Dom or not Dom, uh, Marcus Phoenix from Gears of War, like the okay. whole armor and everything would be so cool. I've always wanted to be Letty from Fast and Furious. There we go. We she's pretty cool. She's she's one of my favorites in the series of the Fast and Furiouses because she's just badass. A war. We were watching it with the war for the first time, and I forgot how. Uh, how adult it could be yes yes very quickly but, too and we were like but our issue with it is is she's going back into public school so and then she's going into fifth grade so anything she sees here i can explain it to her i can at least be exactly. like hey whereas but, there so like music i'm like i've started showing her more music lately because i already know the moment she goes to school and the moment she goes to middle school she's going to hear all of it. Oh, absolutely. I would rather hear have her hear it from me where I can be like, you know what? This is what this song is. And yeah, it's a little derogative. But if you have any questions, here I am. Because <laughs> my mom was very... I was sheltered. Yeah, same. Uh, I went to a Christian school till I was in eighth grade. <sighs> I grew up was, Mormon, so... <laughs> oh, well, that, that would be shelter. <laughs> yeah. My friend grew up Mormon, and she's she would drink soda without her parents knowing it. My luckily, luckily, I wasn't in that intense of a you know it wasn't that intense of a Mormon family, but I definitely had I, those I, friends that were like, oh, "What are you doing? <laughs> Aren't you not supposed to do that? Drinking soda? <gasps> I'm having some caffeine. Leave me alone." So yeah, yeah. Well, good questions, everybody. Absolutely appreciate that. I feel closer to you. I was going to say, I I actually, uh, as I read the last question that's sitting there, I think I answered that earlier when it said, what got you into gaming? Exactly. Which is why I, I (laughs) forgot that she'd asked that because I was going to bring it around to her 
earlier when I asked you, but it was just, you know, it's part of the conversation. Things were flowing. I mean, we were just chatting. Yeah, we're hanging out. Exactly. You were so nervous. You I do have a, a question job. for you. I have an question. answer for you. Anything you want. The new season of Fortnite, what are your takes on it? Um, as it goes and they add more things to counter the vehicles, I'm enjoying it. I was going to say, countering that the vehicles is a huge was, thing. The first two days was like, this is really hectic and I really was, fun. And I then, was doing really good. Yeah. But then by the end of it, someone would have a car with grenade launchers. And I was like, well, that's the thing kidding me. is if you weren't in the car, you were dead. And so I was like, pretty much. Ah, I don't know if I like this. So now they're adding more things to counter the cars. It definitely feels a lot better. The other, my other big gripe is that the floor loot, like the gun loot we have right now is all really boring, bland weapons. So like Hopefully when you actually bring get more. in a gunfight, it doesn't feel great. But I'm, the premise of the season, I really like. Um, this battle pass is fantastic. I have this this running gag that every other season of Fortnite has a good battle pass, and it's been spot on every time. So this current say, one is really good. Having the Fallout armor in there was a big yeah. Oh, the Nuka Cola like, as ground loot is awesome. That's a great healing <laughs> item. That is a really good healing item. I just figured I'd ask because I know that everyone talks about it. I see it all over Twitter. I see it all over, you know, YouTube, TikTok, all of it. They talk about how, oh, it's trash. don't play it and do that. And I've played it and yeah. I understand where they're coming from. The vehicles exactly. either need to be nerfed or they need to have something to counter it. Exactly. Well, and that's the is we have had like lock on rockets in the like we've had a lot of things that are anti vehicle in seasons that didn't have much to do with vehicles. So the fact that those weren't put back in the game for the vehicle season is that very would have been weird. smart. Yeah, very weird. Maybe they'll bring them in because I know that they drop weapons periodically throughout the entire seasons yeah. too, don't they? Yeah. Exactly. But it's just it was just a lot of weird decision making out of the gate. Like I've enjoyed what I've played. I'm not grinding it as much as I thought I would just because of the whole car situation being it's not as fun, but yeah, but I, they've still done a good job. So I would say they haven't done a bad job. Uh -uh. It's, it's not bad. Exactly. And again, every, every week they're adding more stuff to counter cars. So, and that might've been by design. So we were all like, what the hell is this? Then we get excited as new stuff gets added. So they might've oh, actually yay, been I can smart. Blow it up. Exactly. They knew all along. Mm -hmm -hmm. Are they the Simpsons? Maybe they are. <laughs> no, the, the Simpsons predict everything. Fortnite just cashes in on everything. I mean. After the fact. I mean, someone has to. So uh, Fortnite CIA confirmed. Got it. <laughs> Popper, you figured out how to open the door. Good job. Good job, buddy. She just got all excited. She hit her head against it because she wanted it to open. And then it slid open. She, her face was like. Did I do that? Oh, what? <laughs> I might I might be a god. <laughs> uh, well, Jules, you did such a good job. I really enjoyed sitting and chatting with you and getting to know you better and learning that we're the same person. I know. How weird is that? We Maybe we were twins and we don't know it? Maybe we were. Parent trap? Should we get... <laughs> <gasps> we should... <laughs> let's do it. We look nothing alike, <laughs> but let's parent trap. <laughs> let's do it. Let's parent trap our parents. Wait, yeah. What? <laughs> yeah. I'm down. Yeah. Um, so I'll have to cut my hair like yours. And then, so I'll get, I'll get a fake beard made. Or it'd be funnier if we just don't change anything about our appearance and just try to act super like, this is how I've always looked. What are you talking about, mom? I'm, I've always been here. Yeah. This is, this is who I am. This is my truth. I've never been anyone else. <laughs> I'm a hundred percent down to parent trap. <laughs> well, if anyone wants to find you, which they should, and watch anything you're doing, your streams, all that good stuff, uh, where can people find you? So I'm actually hoping to start multi-streaming. At mm -hmm. the moment, I am on Kick with Jules9190. But I am hoping to multi-stream to Twitch. I just got to get all of the stuff integrated. Yes. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff to put into just one OBS for two different things. Yeah, they like I to never make realized that. effort. It's not fun. I know. I was all like, okay, so you got stream elements over here, and you got this over here, and you got... I'm like, okay. So I've been slowly getting towards it, 
so that way I can do that multi-stream. Because I know a lot of people aren't over on kick, which is fine. That's, you know, that is their, yeah, they don't have, that's their opinion or what they feel. They don't want to well, be also, you know, you know it's the, the not, they're not new, but it's the newer kid on the block. Like I didn't know it they existed until, you know, last year, really. So <laughs> I know. You know and you it was watch crazy. all your same people on the same platforms and, you know, people are comfortable complacent. And so I've been talking about going and doing, and me and Kyle have talked about it. I'm like, I'm trying to do multi streams so that way I could be able to still see the audience that I see that I haven't seen. And <laughs> like, it's been over a year now. I haven't seen in almost over a year. So oh, yeah. it's, it, it's one of those things. I'm like, I need to, I need to try to do that. So we're, we're working on it. But I just got to get there. You're going to be the one to shepherd folks over to kick. I, I've, it's funny because I've met new people that I never knew about over there. And it's weird that I say that because they, they're like, yeah, we used to stream over here. I'm like, I never knew. I know what? And so I found people that I never knew about. Over, and it's it's kind of cool. You find no, new people. Super cool. it's, it's a great time. Well, when you go from being, you know, the most, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, oh, I, it, I had it until I started the sentence. Um, the, the most oversaturated market to, you know, being a place that's, it has a healthy user base. You can meet people like, you right? know, someone be like, yeah, I used to stream on Twitch all the time. How do we never meet? You're like, well, if I look there's at the, so the, many. <laughs> the directory, there's 8 million people in there right now. Like, yeah, it makes sense. We never would have met. Uh, I never saw your call of duty content because yes. there's more than 8 million people. <laughs> there's like 10 million people. Exactly. <laughs> there's a lot of people. So, oh, I love but that. it was, it's so right at the moment I'm on kick, but I'm hoping to do multi streaming again. Okay. Um, to be able to, cause now that Twitch has that whole, you know, you can multi stream. Um, so I'm very glad they did that. I know. So am I, cause a lot of people utilize that not just for like kick, but they do it for YouTube and just different things like that. And now you've got Twitter. X is now streaming. You can do right. streaming on X. It's so weird. I'm like, uh, hmm. <laughs> What? It, apparently it makes a lot of money. So everyone does it. Who knew? Apparently there's people that are getting tons of views because, you know, there's I mean, it's not as saturated. Money, I mean, the mark, you know, streaming the itself is a big money market. I don't make any of it, but <laughs> these big I businesses are realizing it. So, yeah, they're realizing oh, yeah. that there's actual stuff for it. All your so. all Jules's links will be in the description below. So you don't have to go type it in anywhere. You just click a link because I'm lazy and I know all of you are going to be lazy, too. He'll do the work for you. Absolutely. <laughs> well, once again, Jules, thank you so much for joining us on Get On In Here Tonight, a podcast for the community in the Discord, interviewing everyone in there so we can all get to know each other better and make friends. And now it was we have, amazing. You did amazing. Uh, now we have the tough call of how to end your episode, Jules. Oh. Because there's, I don't pay anyone to make fancy intros and outros the community has has requested that it's all done on the spot made up so for every guest you you have a choice at the beginning of the show whether i make something up or you do i made you sing that pirate song so i tricked you into doing your own today ha ha ha, ha. um ah. but the outro i mean it's got to be uh, last week uh, i think rye guy did a quote we've done beat poems we've made up songs how do you want to end your show? You put me on, you put me on the spot and you put me under pressure. I did. Dun, 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 under pressure. Looking down. Falling down on me. Looking down on you. I don't remember the whole song. I just like the. You totally cut out there. Good. Well, just know that was my favorite part. <laughs> You'll never know what it is, but I know. And that's really all that matters. And you know what? The favorite part should be in the end. The favorite part is the friends we made along the way. And the friends we'll continue to make through this journey. Exactly. Anyway, here's an instrumental song where Jules is doing all the instruments and she wrote it over the last eight years. There's 30 instruments and take it away. I'm pretty sure that was a TV theme show. No clue. To uh oh crap, I know what show it was. It was a western. 
This might unlock a memory for you. Fuck. Oh, God. What was it? Oh, my God. It's going to kill me. It's one of my favorite shows. Um, Old Western TV shows. It's going to kill me. This is going to kill me when I see it. Where are you? Oh, now, now we're going to be talking about this for too long. It's The moment's over. I should just let it die, but I won't. I won't. Bonanza. That's what it was. Oh, dude, I love Bonanza. Bonanza. Yeah, that was a great show. Great show. I used to watch it all the time. And that's probably where that song came from, in the back the back recess mm-hmm. of your mind. Ah. <sighs> <sighs> Bonanza, gone too soon. I I feel like I had a pretty good run, right? It did. Bonanza, American television. How many seasons? 14 seasons. That's actually a lot longer than I thought it went. Yeah, I was going to say, I was thinking like eight. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. I was thinking five or six. Yeah, 14 is pretty solid. I mean, nothing, you know, beats the Law and Order and Grey's Anatomy (laughs) run right now. But, you know. (laughs) Yeah. Uh, Always Sunny in Philadelphia. They're on a pretty long streak too. Oh my goodness. Always Sunny in Philadelphia. How many how many seasons are they on? Sixteen. Uh, uh Law and Order. Twenty three seasons. Yeah, I think that, that wins right now. And you said Grey's Anatomy, mm-hmm. right? Twenty. Twenty. So yeah, Law and Order wins with twenty three seasons right now. It's crazy. Law is are now is Law and Order the longest? Was it NCIS is at 21 seasons? I think that would be up there. Uh, let's see. Cause I don't want to, it says the longest running television show is general hospital. But the issue with that is, is that's a soap. That is true. Uh, Ooh, the Simpsons, is Simpsons. 35 seasons. It says Simpsons is up there. Yep. 35 Family guys seasons. up there. That makes sense. I'm glad we got to the bottom of this. I know. We the were gonna, Bold we were gonna and the go. Beautiful has 36 seasons, and I've never heard of that. Huh. I've heard of Bold and Beautiful. It's the soap opera. Oh, it's a soap opera. Okay, that makes yes. sense. Yes. Hmm. I mean, MASH went for uh, almost over 10 years. The Tonight yeah, Show technically is the world's longest running. <laughs> is the longest running talk <laughs> show at 62 years. That would make sense. <laughs> Guiding Light, never heard of that, is longest running drama series for 57 years. I've never heard of that one. Dang. Do you know show was really bad growing up that my mom was obsessed with? Which one? Were you? Did you ever get into Seventh Heaven? Yes, I think my mother tried getting us into Seventh Heaven. I watched a lot of uh, either Shirley Temple or A Little House on the Prairie. Ah, yes. Young Jason Bateman. The other one that I used to watch was the, uh, the Watson? No, the Waltons. I think that's what it's called. And we watched a lot of... Yeah, the Waltons. uh, The Rosie O'Donnell show. I watched that a lot during the day, during the summer, because that was my mom's favorite show. And then, uh, was it Donnie, Donnie Marie, the Osmonds, Rosie O'Donnell show. Uh, so with uh, Little House on the Prairie, I was obsessed with Michael Landon, the dad. Yes. Oh, of course. Who? I mean, I am. I'm a straight man. I still was. <laughs> I mean, Ryan Reynolds, okay? Oh, That's Ryan the- Reynolds. I made a joke. Okay, this is a, I made a joke two years ago that I was like, Ryan Reynolds shows up at the doorstep. I think Lisa asked me, she's like, what would you do if Ryan Reynolds showed up at the doorstep? I'm like, if I opened the door and Ryan Reynolds was standing there and he went, you're gay now, I'd go, okay, and I'd run away with him. And Izzy overheard me say that, and she laughed for probably <laughs> 20 minutes. And randomly to this day, she'll walk by My and dad go, would turn Ryan gay. Reynolds said, you're gay. <laughs> like, well, if he did, uh, I'm there okay. For it. I'm there for it. <laughs> I think it, most straight men would be like, okay, and walk away. <laughs>